Leave the second mom. Good. We are going to have two equations right now. Yeah, net force x and net force y. Which of those equations do you think is going to be more strategic for us to work with here? What's the question? I don't uh, you know? The question, asks. the question is asking for the tensions. Oh. And you know, actually, I guess in this case, we uh, know we're going to need both of these. So I think I'll plug in for both of these. All right, so what do I plug in for net force x? TL cosine of 7d, or minus TL cosine of 7d. Oh. Plus T R cosine of twenty eight, and that's it. Okay. Yeah, there is no x component of the weight. Equal right equals twenty eight a. Oh well, it's zero. Again, yeah, the problem is implying that this is motionless, so this is going to be a zero. That's going to simplify our life a lot. So this is the net force x equation. And how what do we plug in for the net force y equation? T O sine seventy one plus T R sine twenty eight minus M G. And what are we plugging on the right hand side? Zero. Okay, now what? Well, we can we have two I think, I, if they make a mistake here, it should be TR cosine 28. Yeah, that one's. And this one over here, the x component, that should be, oh, here I was supposed to do the that y component. Sign. So the y component here sign. should be TR sine 28. So this is the x equation and this is the y equation. Okay, I'm sorry, you were saying, what should we do now? We have two equations and two unknowns. So, well, can we plug in MG? Yeah, that's right. In fact, we probably should have done that much closer to the beginning. Maybe you guys did that already. We might as well figure out the weight at the very beginning. We have our special formula for that. Well, that would be 28 times 9.8. 274.4. 274.4. And that would be negative. All right. And that would make this equation simpler. 274.4. Okay, good. All right, uh, yeah, now we do have to uh, solve for one of the variables here. Well, I could solve this and get that TR is equal to, all right, we get TR cosine 28 equals TL cosine 71. So TR is equal to cosine 71. Over cosine 28 times TL. Mm -hmm. uh, might as well do that calculation. Oh. Now on this problem, did you say that they wanted you to give an answer with a, with a tangent in it? Yeah. Well, no, not that they wanted us to give an answer with a tangent in it, but answer that we... The explanation we looked up online yeah. had a bunch of equations, and then they converted the sines and cosines into tangents, and used that, and it got a little bit. What number is this question? You know, I don't see any any point in doing that. This becomes very simple if we just calculate these cosines. Um, so cosine seventy one divided by cosine twenty eight is just point three seven. I don't. I really don't see any need to fiddle around with a bunch I think of that. So then we would plug in the TR over here, TL sine 71 plus 0.37 TL sine 28 equals. Wait, where did the 0.37 come from? That's from the, the cosine 71 divided by cosine 28. We can just use our calculator. We don't need any fancy trigonometric identities. Uh, 
and this is equal to 274.4. So here we have to figure out the sine of 71 plus the sine of 28. So 1.4 equals 274.4, so TL equals 196. Did you not put in 0.37? No, we didn't, it's okay. And then we can figure out TR. Did I make a mistake? Yeah, uh -oh. point three seven, like four lines up from the bottom. One, two, three, four. You put it in, but you didn't Use include it. it in the... Thank you. Let's try again. Point thirty seven times sine 28. All right. Sine 71 plus 0.37, sine 28, 1.1. So now I'm getting about 249.5. So this rounds off to around 250, and this rounds off to around uh, 90. Okay. Uh, actually, this was supposed to come out to be 90, not 92, but that's just rounding error. So. Okay. Um, all right. Again, the most important thing to see is how we keep using the same framework for every single problem. Um, identify all the forces, and then list them on the left-hand side of Newton's second law. 